It was meant to bring fun to families in Alamogordo, but the state auditor says the city wasted tens of thousands of dollars in taxpayer money building it. News 13's Allison Martinez is here with the story. Kim, voters approved a $6 million bond issued in 2014 to build a family fun center with bowling, a restaurant, and much more. It took four years and cost $7.5 million. Someone alerted the state auditor's office that something didn't look right, and auditors agree. We were getting tips on the fraud hotline, and I was personally getting some reports by various legislators down in the area about some problems with this particular family fun center. The state auditor's office highlighted five problems. First, the project was one and a half million dollars over budget. The city also spent $60,000 on designs they never used and gave the green light for the private contractor running it to buy equipment such as arcade games, a security camera system and furniture for the $1.5 million without voter approval. These are public dollars and wasting even one dollar means that it can't go to some other project or some other need within the community. Sixty thousand dollars is a lot of money for a, a city to waste on a project that they never built. The state auditor says the other problem with this was there's no paperwork stating that the property belongs to the city if the operator stops running it so they could take it with them. We've also learned the city of Alamogordo self-reported that the city planner Darren Williams, who worked closely with the project, was driving around in a Mercedes owned by the company running the family fund center. They believe Williams personally gained from the city contract. They say Williams has since left to work for the fund center. The city says it has hired an attorney to look at the issue. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Allison. Now, $1.5 million involved in this project was grant money. So if it's found the city misused it, they may have to pay it back.